I'm Levi, a creative, adventure seeker, and explorer by heart. A few years ago, I set out on a mission, a mission to find the most unusual, inspired, and unique one night stays in America. And I'm taking you with me. This is Tiny BNB. Let's go. Guys, this home is magnificent. It's definitely one of my top favorites so far that I've been to. This home is located in Ohio, so if you are in the Ohio region or traveling through, definitely make a stop at this place. And today I'm gonna to give you guys a tour of this home. The first home we are doing is this one. It's a single unit shipping container home with this massive cover deck attached to it. It's perched right in this woodsy area, so it gives it a great vibe. This is a very charming, intimate container home. Whenever you pull up to this property, you have plenty of parking and you walk up the steps and you are at the container home. On the right, you have a nice fire pit to enjoy at any time of the year. It's really nice and cozy and who doesn't like a nice campfire? Back over to the home, the shipping container is black. They painted it black, which I really like. That fits my aesthetic. And the wood they used to accent this really fits well. I love that light colored wood mixed in with this black. It looks super beautiful. They put it up on this foundation so everything kind of electrical and all that stuff is underneath it, which leaves plenty of more space for inside the home since this is only one container unit. And the surrounding property is just really beautiful. I think this home just fits in really nicely and it stands out and it just looks great. So as we continue on with this outside porch area, it is covered. There's lights all around it for at night. It just gives you that nice cabin cozy vibe. But the first thing you see on the right is this massive swinging bed. It is amazing if you like to take naps outside in the summer or you just like to swing on it. It is super comfortable and large. It can fit a couple people if you want. And right next to that is the wood for the campfire. But we'll continue on. And next you have the seating area for the outside. A couple of you guys can sit out here and chill. And it's right next to the garage door that does open that can lead into the living room area of this container home but we'll get to that later it adds a nice aesthetic to this container home it looks super cool and i think it is one of my favorite features but like i said we'll get to that if we continue on you got a grill for grilling in the summer or anytime and then last you got the gorgeous hot tub because what place isn't complete without a hot tub. You gotta have a hot tub. You can use that any time of the year. It is super clean and large. I love it. And it's basically blocked off with this end of a container home. So what they did, they just swung out the doors, kind of secluded the porch area on this. I love how they incorporated the container into that and kind of made it more intimate in this area. One cool thing about the hot tub is I always thought it was a pain to take the cover off the hot tub and put it somewhere. Well, they have this bar mechanism to where you just flip it and fold it and it stays right on one end. It is so easy. I don't understand why not every hot tub has that. That is something really cool that they added. But now let's get in on the inside with this marvelous container home. When you walk in, you can see it's very spacious and roomy and it just feels really intimate. It doesn't feel cramped or crowded. The first thing you notice though is the kitchen. Now with the kitchen and really everywhere else in the home, they took attention to detail to the next level. Everything is super high quality and really nicely done. And if you stay here, you'll notice that as well. I love that kind of stuff, especially when you're making a piece of art kind of for a home. I think all that stuff is really important and the owners here nailed it. So with the kitchen, you got lots of countertop space and lots of cabinets cabinets that are really well designed. All the cabinets have the utilities or utensils that you need for anything that you need in the kitchen. The only thing that is missing is an oven, but they do have a stove top and a microwave for anything else you might need. They do have pots and pans and they just provide a lot of things here. They even provide metal straws, which I've never seen in an Airbnb. So props to them for that is super cool. And they even got a really nice aesthetic fridge that fits this vibe of a home. Whenever fridges like this or incorporated in homes, I love it. Above, you got the open cabinets that make this kitchen feel even more open that you have all your dishes in and they provide wine for you. And if we continue on, they got this massive sink that is right in front of this huge window that lets in tons of natural light. That window, along Along with the one above the shelves up here just really let in a lot of light and it's really nice a window like this it always makes the home feel a lot more cozy and right behind you you got towels and free slippers for the hot tub 
which is amazing. <laughs> so we'll continue on. And on the left side right here, you got this fireplace that was designed to fit in and not stand out really with the home. It is white along with all the walls and everything. Super clean looking and sleek. And in the winter, you gotta have a fire on the inside to add to that coziness. And right above it, you got the TV. It swings out, so if you're on the couch, you can see it. If you're in the kitchen, you can swing it out in the kitchen. You can see it anywhere. And right behind that, you got the seating area which is pretty nice if you ask me. These two seats in this table look fantastic and it is really comfortable to sit at actually and eat breakfast or dinner or whatever. Super nicely done there. As we continue on with the home, you got the living area. Now this is a really special area because you got this garage door that you look at and you can open up this garage door. It's automatic for in the summer. You can incorporate the inside and outside and it just makes this place feel huge and incorporates the people outside with the inside and it's just super beautiful. I love it so much. Even in the winter, if it's closed, it provides a ton of natural light and it just makes this place feel even more large than what it actually is. So this is one of my favorite parts of the home and it requires no effort. The couch, it fits in with everything very beautiful you got this nice wooden coffee table which is super cool right in front of it and we just continue on you got the bathroom the bathroom is really large for what this home is and it is super sleek and modern and nice just like the rest of the home on the left you got a beautiful sink and right behind it you got the toilet and above that you got all your amenities you need for the bathroom and over to the left of that you got the huge shower which is always nice to have and this room is just bright and nice and really open and it feels really cozy you can close it off from everything else Else. but if we continue this door right here is the last part of the home which is the master bedroom it's the only bedroom in this home but it's very lovely your eyes are instantly pulled to the huge window that takes up this entire wall and it lights up the room you can wake up to the sunrise in the morning and enjoy your time in this bedroom it is it is pretty large for what it is now the other space in this bedroom is used for storage you have your dresser on the side they can put stuff in or you even have drawers underneath the bed to put all your stuff in so there'll probably just be two of you staying here all your stuff can fit in this area and to top it off with this room is one of my favorite parts of this home as well along with the garage door is this tv now this doesn't even look like a tv i thought it was a picture at first but they framed this tv to kind of blend in with the wall and it just looks super sleek and modern and it's right perched perfectly whenever you're laying in bed the two of you can watch tv watch whatever you want it is really nicely done. I couldn't ask anything more from this container home. It has everything I think it needs and it just tickles my fancy in every way. I would love it. I would stay here again another night and bring other people to show them from the black on the outside mixed with the wood and the wooden beams to the garage door to the inside. It is super, super nice. But now let's go check out our next Airbnb. I got another container home for you guys today because I know you love them and I know I love them. They're my favorite type of home at the moment as well. You cannot go wrong with a container home. They're really unique and just fun to look at. We're here with another Airbnb container home tour. I found this one and we are located in Fort Worth, Texas. And let's just start on with the outside of this home. Whenever you first pull up, this is actually a kind of container home community. There's three container homes here. I think this would be a great area if you have lots of people. You can rent all three of them and they're all pretty close together so you can all hang out and enjoy each other in the nice Texas sun. Anyway, let's get back to the one I stayed in. I would consider this container home more of a minimalistic container so if that is more of your thing and if you're thinking about building one with just one unit I think this is a great example they all have these painted murals on them which is kind of neat adding the artwork on the outside of the container because sometimes the container itself can be pretty bland depending on what you do so they decided to add some artwork to this one so let's just continue on with mine you walk down this little path that leads to the front deck area of the one I stayed at. It is a single 40 foot high cube container. They are eight feet by 40 feet. So if I did the math right, that's only 320 square feet of living space in your whole home. And they kept the original metal doors of the container on this home, but they just left them open. I think that looks great. And I love the deck they added in the front with the chairs. And they added this wooden wall over here to kind of seclude you from everything behind you. And it just looks really nice. And it's really intimate in this front area. And it's a great area to enjoy your morning coffee or whatever you got planned. 
Let's take a step on the inside now whenever you walk in. It is a typical layout for a single container unit home and that is you walk into the front living room area as a couch and a TV, pretty standard. Typically, the kitchen and the dining area come next, which is what happens here. You got your whole kitchen area on this left side. You got the open shelves up on top, which add that industrial vibe that this home advertises as. You got all your nice dishes up here on display. Very nice and high quality, I would say. And then right below that, you got your sink. It's a really nice small sink. It doesn't take up a lot of space, unnecessary space, I would say. And you got all your countertop area and cabinets below that. They provide all the utensils you need in a kitchen if you just open up these drawers you can see what all they provide and of course they got a coffee maker over here it's an espresso machine which is really tiny doesn't take up a lot of real estate but you still get your morning coffee if you need that and up over here you got your little toaster oven and then the complimentary snacks that they have which i love in airbnbs when they do that and then if you open up this drawer all the way on the left side you got a little mini dishwasher which i've never seen this before it is really not <laughs> It doesn't take up any space at all and it's just enough I think for the two people that would be coming stand at this to do your dishes and right above that you got a portable little stove top to add to that as well right behind that you got this table that folds up and down if you fold it up you got the two seats over here you can pull up and you can sit here and enjoy the nice light that this window lets in and floods into this kitchen and then when you're done with it you can just put it right back down and it saves a ton of space now at night you can close the blinds on these windows you just pull down and it totally blacks out this entire place, including in the bedroom, which is a must, I think. Now, as we go back to the home, uh, the first thing you got on your left is the bathroom with the sliding barn door. If you open that up, you got your nice full bathroom. Nice amenities in here. On the left side, you got a full shower, and right next to that, they got all the stuff they provide for you for your bathroom needs, which is a lot. I like it. This bathroom is bright and open and clean. You got the nice sink right here with the huge mirror, and on the right side you got of course your toilet and this huge wall tapestry and this bathroom just looks really nice and it's decorated nice and is really clean from my experience can't go wrong with it don't have anything bad to say I like it a lot now if we can just continue you got your bedroom and the bedroom is really simple I would consider it pretty minimal you got your dresser over here on the left side kind of small but they also provide this little rack for you to put your luggage and stuff so it's not just laying on the floor and you got some hangers over here as well on this wall along with the mirror and then you got your bed that's pushed up against the wall it's super cozy and comfortable you got some blankets that are provided as well and this really neat vertical window that adds in that juicy sunlight that's the way they did this container home like I said I think this is a great option and layout for a cheaper container home style if you just want to buy one and you're trying to figure out how to make it work the best with the limited space you got this place is a great example I think this is a pretty common example because it works so well I would consider this one more on the minimalistic side if that is your vibe really not nothing to worry about other than your essentials, which can be very great if you don't want to worry about really anything. So if you ever want to build a container home yourself, keep this one in mind. Come check this one out.